Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Mr. Clean and welcome to the Pegasus 3 E03 channel. The following tutorial, I'm going to show you how to batch convert from SD2 or Sound Designer 2 to WAVE or AIFF uh, depending on what your needs are. So let's go ahead and launch uh, the App Store. I came across this application called Adapter. Yep, here it is. And it's only $1.99 and you can convert from SD2 to AIFF, WAVE, CAF, and uh, WAVE64. Um, let's go ahead, and go ahead and open that. All right, let's quit this. Okay, so I got my uh, folder here with SD2 files. These are actually IRs or impulse responses. Now for your folks in post, um, you'll probably have a lot of impulse responses in SD2, and uh, if you're using newer, um, Reverb plugins like, say, Native Instruments Reflector, uh, you have to convert these to WAV files. Um, Altiverb, I believe, will read SD2. I uh, don't recall, but um, anyway, once you get them converted into WAV, you'll probably be in a better place. Also, you might have a bunch of sound effects. This will uh, come in handy as well. Um, for you music folks, you may have drum loops or uh, some pretty cool samples um, that may have been SD2 file. Um, some of the old formats, uh, I believe, one of the Akai formats, I think, supported SD2. I may be wrong, and uh, possibly sample cell. Don't don't quote me, but um, anyway, you, you may have a library somewhere with these. But before we do anything, make sure everything is in one folder. So let's go ahead and do this. And I would actually recommend, if you have mono and uh, stereo files, to separate them. Um, and I'll show you why later. Okay, so they're in one folder. So let's go ahead and launch... The other screen there. All right, let's go ahead and launch uh, Adapter and simply drag this folder, click Next. It's going to scan them. You may notice the sample rate, bit depth, and channel. Uh, that information is not available. So, what you want to do is go ahead and include all. And this is kind of what I was saying about not having monos with stereos. And let's go ahead and Oh, before we do that, so if you don't have a text file or something that's explaining, and if you get information on the file itself, let's see if that tells us anything. No, it doesn't. So if you have QuickTime 7, uh, it doesn't have to be Pro. It can just be old version of QuickTime 7. Um, go ahead and open that. Command I, get information. Okay, 24-bit, 48K. All right, so now I know what we're dealing with. Assign missing values. Okay, 48K, 24-bit, and for the stereos, you're tempted to put two files, but go ahead and put one because they're uh, split mono. They're... Okay, next thing to remember is you have to create a folder. So let's create a folder on the desktop, and I'll simply call it Wave, and just click Next. And here's where you can choose AIFF, Wave, CAF, Wave 64, et cetera, et cetera. You may be tempted to choose interleaved, but it doesn't quite do it. Um, I was hoping that it would automatically take the split models, the .l, .rs, and make them into an interleaved WAV file, but it does not. So, but I'll go ahead and select it anyway, and then it's gonna add the extension to the file name. And tell it where to go. So let's select our WAV folder on the desktop there. Convert. Okay, five files have been converted. And you see my monos, or my split monos, uh, the .l, .r. These are stereo files, so unfortunately I'm gonna have to open them in Pro Tools and then re-export them as interleaved stereo files, and I'll show you how to do that. But uh, here's our mono, and here's our left, right. Now, if you're not using it, in a scenario where you need interleave, then you would be good to go. These files would already be converted and ready to roll, and then you can import them into whatever you need it. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch Pro Tools, and I will show you how to convert from split model, left, right, to interleaved stereo files. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and launch uh, Pro Tools. And if you have another um, digital audio workstation, you may be able to accomplish the same thing, take two, uh, split mono stereo files, a left, right, and convert it to a stereo interleaved. So let's go to launch Pro Tools. I'm gonna let that chug for a second. Okay, 
I'll keep the name untitled. Um, local storage, uh, broadcast wave or wave, 24 bit and 48K. That's what we're doing. And let's just go to the desktop, which it is, and create. This is going to be a throwaway. So, all right, let's import audio and desktop wave. Don't worry about the mono. We want these uh, stereo files, and I'll copy it in case anything bad happens. And that's going to default to the audio files folder. New track. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, so you'll notice um, the file lengths are different. So something went weird with the conversion. But take a look at the wave files or the waveforms and see if they they more or less kind of match. All right, so um, you can either go back to the drawing board or just kind of go with it. I play these, but they're really obnoxious sounds. So if this happens, what you have to do is take the longest one, I line them both, and consolidate it. Um, option Shift Three or Edit. Consolidate clip, and let's do it for this one too. So once again, select the longest file. Option Shift Three. Okay. Now I want to take these left right files and I want to export them. So let's go ahead and Shift Command K, or actually export clips as files. Wave interleaved, twenty four bit and 48K. And I created another folder on the desktop. Um, I could just called it stereo and let's go there. Okay, so it's now gonna be uh, interleaved. So a single stereo file as opposed to the two split models. Export. Okay, now I'm selecting these two files. Once again, wave interleaved, 24 bit, 48K. It's still going to the same place and export. All right, so go ahead and quit Pro Tools. Okay, so let's take a look at the file. Let's, uh, okay. It is two channels, 48K, 24-bit. So this single file here is actually a stereo interleaved file. So just go ahead and close that. Okay, so once again, um, this app, it's got some cool little functions, but um, if you have a old version of Pro Tools, that's um, SDE2. You can convert the files with an application like this, but you won't be able to open that Pro Tools session and regain the edits and the crossfades and uh, things like that. So please remember to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications below. Thanks for tuning in.